Hello, hello, how's it going? Hope you're having a fabulous day. If you are on here live with me, say hello. I am here in Finland at the cutest little hostel. I'm in this little cute egg chair. And I have an exciting guest who is going to be popping on here with me here shortly. And we are going to be sharing but a little adventure that we have up and coming in August. Hello, hello, everyone. Hope you're having a good day. How's it going? Say hello in the comments if you're here with me. We're going to be having Carrie Gregson come on here. My hair is all soaked. Um, I just got out of the sauna in Finland, the saunas. And the ice showers are like the thing. And guys, I'm in love. <laughs> Safe to say that uh, I don't want to leave. But um, just going to wait for Carrie to get on here. And we are going to be ch telling you guys a little bit more about the Tyrolean Mountain High. And <laughs> I am so excited for this, um, this adventure tour. If you've never seen Carrie's page, you've got to go check it out because I'm like super stoked um, to be co-leading this adventure tour with Carrie coming up in August. So if you are wanting to join us for an adventure, then definitely stay tuned because... Carrie's an amazing friend of mine. Um, Carrie! Hi, beautiful. Gorgeous. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful sister. How are Hi, you? Hi, beautiful. It was, it was frozen there for a minute. Was and it? It's like you just froze, but now, now the energy's back. Oh, yeah. Who's that you have with you? That's my baby. What? Yeah. Lily, look. Oh, hi. Oh, we were just crazy. running. We were just running on the exact trails we'll be hiking this summer. I am so freaking excited. And this is going to be the best ever. She's coming with us, right? Lily's coming. Welcome. Aww. Welcome. Hi, Lily. What did you want to say about the tour, Lily? Okay. Yeah, I'll talk. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dad. super excited she's coming too. That's awesome. Oh, so good. I'm so excited to be talking about this because I'm because I'm right in the spot of where we're holding this experience. Mm -hmm. you no, know, it's right. This is my backyard full of these um, stone men and, and Buddhas. It's like an oasis here. But that's going right into the backyard. I don't know if you can, can see it. You hear the birds. Oh, we're up there. Goodness. Up there is where we're going to be spending two days of this Tyrolean tour right now where you see the white Amazing. and then uh yeah so it's a it's a special on my heart this tour and I'm so excited to be able to share it with you mm -hmm. you know, me too I, I feel so honored perfect. thank you Carrie and so for those of you guys who haven't heard us talking about this before um, it's coming up in August. And so Carrie's been actually doing these adventure tours for a very long time. And she has an amazing story. So I'll get you to share your story, Carrie, kind of how you landed yourself in Austria and everything about the Tyrolean mountain high. And then stick around to the end because we are going to be sharing and there are a few spots left for this tour. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. And I'm so excited you're on European soil now. I know. It makes it even oh. more, <laughs> it feels it even so more good. real. It really um, does. Yeah, so I've been doing these tours now for 13 years and started in 2010. Um, but the dream got seeded almost 30 years ago, right in this village, pretty much on this spot that I am right now. I was an au pair right across the street from here wow. um, in 1995. And I got to live here in this village for a year. And then I fell in love with Tyrol, with the mountains here and the people and just the way of life and the Alps in general, the fact that I could go to Switzerland anytime, to Germany anytime, um, and then you could go out Eastern Europe anytime. It's, it's right here in Austria is the heart of Europe. So I just, and down south to Italy. So I just fell in love with the area, but not just that, I would come here as well um, Every chance I got when, you know, when people go on vacation, this was my vacation. So I come to this village anytime I had holiday in the winter and the summer, this is where I go. And I 
go in these mountains and they, if I had um, different struggles, um, trying to get through transition, right after my separation with my husband, I came here, I was always pulled to the mountains. It was like something was knocking and saying, come here, come here. And it was a pull and I would just find myself there because mm -hmm. the pull was so strong. Mm -hmm. And so different phases of my own healing, healing my own uh, body image struggles that I've had most of my life and OCD, a lot of that healing came from climbing these mountains. <laughs> I'm talking over many years and um, many different mountain ranges, but I always came back to having a home base here in Tyrol, Austria, because it had the most home feeling to me. Mm. And so I created this with tour, Tyrolean Mountain High, is the very first tour I created because it was all I really know. It was called Austrian Alpine Adventure is because that's what I went on. Austria was my thing. And uh, th these are the people I knew. So I'm like, I got to show people what I've just experienced, the mountains I've climbed, the people I met, mm -hmm. and how they do things here mm -hmm. from a North American perspective, right? I have to show them. And that's where it all kicked off. Um, before I moved here, I started the tours here. And I would just spend my summers here and immerse in here. So you know when you have a dream and to make it reality, you got to go live in it. And then you just live on it and eventually you're it. Eventually, yeah. then you, you stay a little longer and the next summer is a little longer and the next summer is a little longer until my mom said, there's going to be one time when you're going to stay there, right? And she was right. So, <laughs> yeah. So, um, and then having it as a home base for the adventure tours is perfect because it's right in the center and it's very close to the Dolomites. It's very close to the Swiss Alps. It's very close to the Bavarian Alps, all the places that I love to go. And the Tyrolean Mountain High that I'm doing with Laura is the one, is the very original one, the basin. There's my neighbor now that he's part of the tour. Say hi, neighbor. <laughs> I'm speaking to the world. Hello. The neighbor, yeah, so uh, I love it. Klaus, my neighbor, was also always part of the Tyrolean Mountain High. That's He's awesome. The and he would take us on tours, showing us the different trees and the benefits of the oils in the trees. Yeah. Wow. Well, All hopefully right. we can meet Klaus when so we you come. Meet him. He's milking the cows now, so. Is he? Um, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> there's, there's, um, there's so much to this tour because it's, it's, it's my home base. It's, it's earthy. It's a place to heal. It's a place to um, expand. And it's so important to step into the unknown as well mm -hmm. as you are doing right now, Laura. Kind of you're following your, your gut and uh, you came to Europe and that's I say it with adventure tours. Um, when people come on these tours, they get they have this gut feeling. They have this. They kind of leave their head out of it, and they're just like, "I got to do that." Yeah, I got to do that. <laughs> and um, just a quick story. Um, I had a woman last year who um, she had to come on one of my tours. I talked to her. I met her through another program I was in, and she's like, "I got to go on your Swiss tour." And she came, she was dealing with her own stuff. And, and on the second day of the Swiss tour, she says, I want to do the Dolomites tour. I'm like, whoa, 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 hold on. <laughs> Just take it, take it in one, one tour at a time. But she was pulled so much to the mountains. She ended up doing two back-to-back -to -back tours. And she was going through her own struggles as the mountains can, can resurface stuff for you. Um, that is actually an advantage for you. And she ended up doing writing and writing and getting these downloads and messages and being in the mountains every day. And she ended up writing two books when she returned, wow. like in, within a month, because she had all this stuff coming out of her. And then um, she said she's taking a break. She's not coming back. But then she decided 
just not long ago, she has to come back. She was trying to do something else, but something came back. She first said no, and then she came back and said, and she's coming on this parole wow. tour. So wow. she says, I have, I have to come back. So people say it does something to you. It does something mm -hmm. to you. And uh, it's personal to each person, but we're here to hold the space. And when you need extra attention on different things or, or facilitation with different things, healing, then we're also here for that. Mm -hmm. It's just, mm. you're not in, you're not in a all by yourself space. You're in a space where you can work through things even faster and, and more fun. Mm -hmm. I love that. Thank you for it's sharing all that, Carrie. So what I'm really hearing is that this is, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that your internet cuts out a little bit, but that's okay. Um, what I'm really hearing from that is that this is really going to be for somebody who is just moving through life's journeys and wants to go on a friggin' adventure with us and climb through the Alps. And it's going to be a six day tour and we're going to be, maybe Carrie, you can share a little bit more about that. Like what that tour actually looks like with, um, the huts and the hiking and, um, where we're sleeping and what that looks like. Yes, definitely right. Anyone that wants to go on a freaking adventure is exactly what it's it gonna is. be the best <laughs> um yeah so we're at, at my home base and we're just above here we spend two days up over 2,000 meters we sleep in a mountain hut uh we swim on a mountain lake and we climb the peaks that are up in that area then we move to a different section another valley so you get to taste different valleys and different mountain peaks and in that valley we're also for three days doing hut to hut so you, you experience a, a guest house in a village and you also experience a mountain hut 2000 meters high and a mountain hut in austria is not maybe what some of you think hut hut it's it's like a mountain hotel you have all your needs met and more and like comfortable stay but it's really um community building like to to hang in a hut together and it's uh the important things in life come forth right yeah. so it's six days six days six full days six nights um different things um cultural uh, you get to experience the food the people the terrain i mean and us too holy cow you don't want to miss that <laughs> Totally. We're going to have a blast. Honestly, I can't wait. It's going to be so incredible. And I'm interested to see what comes up because the mountains are definitely medicine. medicine. And you really, you, you never know what's going to, what's going to come up and just allowing it to, to flow through. I've had like some of my most healing times out in nature as well. And to do it with a group of people that are like minded mm -hmm. and like spirited, it's mm -hmm. like, it's, it's going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. So I'm very, very excited to be taking part in this as well, because it's going to be my first time doing it as it. an incredible group as well. Hi, Dana. I love it. It does I sound incredible. It. If you want to join us, Dana. Oh, my yes. goodness. <laughs> yes, get on it. August 22nd to the 28th yeah. here in oh. Tyrol. And again, it's a great tour because if you wanted to sneak over to Italy or to the Bavarian Alps, you're only half hour away. So it's a very, yeah. it's a great place to add other, to link other stuff onto it for sure mm -hmm. and just submerge in the mountains and like laura said it's it's medicine um their mo mountains don't move it's not like the ocean that's always in movement but they're very powerful very pow powerful very grounding very, very powerful yeah um yeah i can't wait i can't wait so if anyone is interested at all and want to find out more message laura or me and uh we're here to you know, help you shine. Mm -hmm. We've got what, what four spots. Uh, yeah, yeah, four spots. exactly. Four spots, guys. Four spots. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Get in on it. August mm -hmm. not far away. It's and then not... anyone, if you need extra help in training on how do you get ready for something like that? Yeah. Um, we got that covered too. Totally got yeah. that covered. Uh, even the training program. Oh, sorry. Can you repeat the different that, Carrie, specifics of that? How to come here and be ready? Okay. Be beautiful. <laughs> We're getting a remix, Carrie. <laughs> I mean, unless it's my internet. Are you there? I think what Carrie was sharing. I'm going to reiterate it that she has a training program 
and she is like the expert on how to get you set up for this you were like remix version <laughs> it was like <laughs> yeah dj carrie over there um you know what you just said um about the training and that you have the training program that you can help anybody get set up for this like you've got lots of time to train yeah. to get yeah. to this and mm -hmm. um i guess like what is it like moderate level fitness and you'll be you'll be good uh yeah but you want to be putting in a little bit more than that but we can get into details about that yeah because you want to be we're going to be hiking anywhere from four four to seven hours in a day depending four to six hours right and so mountain terrain so it's exciting anyone can do it for sure yeah okay. but it takes a little little bit of prep a yeah. little bit of yeah. prep for sure cool and it gives you something to train for i'm excited for it i've been rocking out f45 for a while now and it gives me that motivation to keep on going but i honestly i can't wait to be out on the mountains Are like, you're rocking out at 45 what do you mean 45 minutes at 45 it's like a workout it's amazing carrie oh my gosh oh. it's like 45 minute hit workouts and they like alternate between um cardio and endurance or endurance and strength days uh -huh, and uh -huh. i love it oh my see my friend Emma, Emma, girlfriend you gotta come to Tyrol too with us. This is Laura. She's going to be leading it with me. The Tyrol uh, Mountain Tour, Tyrolian Mountain High. So you got to come too, sister. Yes. Um, yes, yes. Okay. okay. Anything Good. else? Any, anything else you want to share, Carrie? Does anybody have any questions? If you have any yeah. questions you want us to answer, um, we're going to pop on and go do a few more lives and stuff to continue mm -hmm. answering questions and whatnot. But mm -hmm. if you have questions, feel free to put them down in the comments below um, yeah. or just send either of us a message um like we said it's august 22nd to 28th yeah so six days hiking the austrian alps yeah carry myself and another small group of amazing human beings we're going to be going um hut to hut and having the best time of our lives and hike like swimming in the glacier lakes yeah 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 oh, oh. ceremonies spontaneous stuff yeah um cultural stuff with the with the locals here in town i mean that that's an experience in itself yeah right the schnapps the schnapps <laughs> i mean we're healthy babe but we want to experience it all for sure yeah and honestly like i know my oma oh i can see the moon just out here let's see if you can see it um but um i don't know if everybody knows that but my family is austrian and um my oma and opa they would always have a schnapps after dinner sometimes oh, yeah. and it was like a herbal schnapps and oh my gosh did it ever yeah. burn going down but amazing for digestion amazing for your health <laughs> yeah well i mean girlfriend we got it in the house too but any any it's different here it's medicinal yeah right and if you're yeah. you're invited to anywhere in this village the first thing you have is a schnapp it's like a, a it, it's a welcome drink yeah and if your stomach, if something's off, then, then you take a shop says medicinal. Emma mm -hmm. was writing, um, what's the experience for first time climbers? What preparation is one required? First time climbers for sure can come. That's where you, once you decide you want to do something like that, that's where you talk to us and there's a whole training program for it. Um, but once one confirms, then it's like, okay, now I get to fill my weekends with hiking and hooking up with others to hiking. So you do have, there's, there's definite specific training for it. Um, cause you want the body to be ready to, for the up and the down. Cause over here, you're going a long time up and a long time mm -hmm. down and it's the down that affects the most. Right. Interesting. You're not prepared. Right. Uh, on the joints that'll affect on the joint. and being in the yeah. shoes you want to have shoes that you've been in for hours so your your footwear is huge and you want to be able to at home before you get here work that in and see what does it feel like in these boots mm -hmm. right you don't want that part to be a shock when you come to the mountain so mm -hmm. but all of that stuff is covered when you say I, I want to do this trip what do i need to prepare program for you there's actual videos on different specifics according to what you need according to your current f fitness level um but they if it's a brand new someone that's not fit at all i would not recommend it i would say base fitness level kind of like a, a general fitness level now and then you work up from that 
right? Perfect. Having done maybe some hiking, but you want to be someone that um, is okay with being high up in the mountains, that is pretty sure-footed, so uh, that is okay with a little bit of heights, right? And that's, that's all in there too, so yeah. And that Perfect. you can read on the itinerary. You can read on that on the itinerary on the homepage. We'll give you the details and as well, how many meters per day, how many hours per day, how many kilometers per day, right? And there's options because there's two of us, there's facilitators and there's options when we're up in the mountain there to say, okay, I'm going to stay by the lake or today I need, a, um, I need to be introspective. I need to stay with myself, you guys go here. Because of where we're at, because we're high up and there's a hut we're staying at. So, oh, I'm losing Laura there. I'm back, I can still hear you. I lost you again, girl. Oh, man. Anyhow, um, message Laura and I and get some details. I got to go and teach a yoga class. <laughs> no worries. And um, this is awesome. I'm just so pumped to do it with you, Laura. Me too. I'm like so excited. I can't wait to see you and squeeze and, you. And Yes, Laura, just before I go, just to, yeah. I mean, I know a lot of people know you, but tell, just tell us what you do and what, what is your gig, girl? Yeah, I kind of have a lot of stuff on the go right now. <laughs> life in general is my gig, to be honest. I just love life, but I'm a coach, so I help entrepreneurs and people when they're feeling stuck to really be able to break through and get to that other side of whatever their goal is that they are looking to achieve. And um, yeah, so that's what I do. <laughs> I love you, girl. I love you too. It's going to be so great. All right, yeah. everybody. Beautiful. I'm so excited for this trip. Get on it. Get in on it. And one thing I can tell you for sure, adventure cannot wait. Cannot wait. Advent no, it cannot. Adventure cannot wait. If you feel the nudge for adventure, that's not something to put on the back shelf. That's not something to say, well, I'm going to do it when uh, I'm free and when the kids are older or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like you, you get in and out because it's experiences. Life yeah. is experiences. And right. And that's the thing you want to nab in the moment. That's what I've learned. Mm -hmm. in my life. Nab it when you're, yeah. when it calls you, when it doesn't call you at all, that's something different. But when it calls you, Adventure can't wait. So that's my final message. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, everybody. There's a little view of where you're going <laughs> on the Tyrolean Mountain High. And I'm so happy to be the host, the host with the most. <laughs> <laughs> and have the best Sunday ever, guys. Okay. Thank you so much, Carrie, for coming on. I appreciate you. And thanks to everybody that was on live with us. We love you. Bye, everybody. We love Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.